Hey guys, Anthony here with a flashlight review from my good friends at Through Night, uh, guiding you through the night. And Through Night has done it again with another excellent flashlight, another great EDC option for us. Uh, and here today, we're going to look at the Archer 1A V3 flashlight. It's got several modes, it's easy to use. It's well made, like all the through night flashlights. Um, we'll go over some of the features. It's very economically priced. And again, through night has some very good quality flashlights out there, which I have several and have done several uh, tests on them. And I'm thankful again that they uh, thought of me and sent me this flashlight that is just about four inches in length, almost exactly four inches in length, and about a half inch in diameter. It takes a single AA battery, which makes it very easy to find batteries for this flashlight. It fits in your hand very well. It's got just enough gnarling on it. Let me show you some close-ups here just enough gnarling on it to uh, give you a good grip but not too much. It comes with a removable clip here that I have on the flashlight. Again, you've got a tail cap that you can activate both momentarily and continuous. And then you have the button here at the front of the light to activate the different modes. So let's go over some of the uh, features of this light. Uh, again, this light is, and I'm going off of the through night uh, ad card that it comes with. The Archer 1A V3 flashlight adopts the latest in CREE Cree XP L V6 LED to make output up to 200 lumens, which is perfect for uh, everyday use. Uh, it's got an XP L V6 LED. It's anti reflective coated ultra clear toughened glass lens. And there you see it right there. The reflector is orange peel. Its working voltage is 0.9 to 5 volts. Material, it's aluminum T6 T6061 dash T6 aluminum. Its surface finish is premium type 3 hard anodized. And there you see it guys. Again, like the other, like many other through night lights, very tough and reliable. Uh, dimensions, uh, I stated earlier, it weighs 42 grams. Again, the high output is at 200 lumens for 150, 115 minutes it'll run. Medium 75 lumens for 5 hours, low 17 lumens for 22 hours and firefly mode 0.1 lumens at an amazing 17 days of illumination at firefly mode your strobe mode is 200 lumens and it'll run for 3.5 hours its beam distance is 66 meters max intensity is 1088 cd max Impact resistance, and we're going to show that later, uh, to one meter. And waterproof to IPX-8 standards up to two meters. And we're going to put it through that test as well. To activate the flashlight, again, we're going to do some tests at night, but you press the um, tail cap halfway to momentarily activate it, like I'm doing here. Or completely on to activate it, and then function through 
the various modes uh, from Firefly to low to medium to high and then back down to Firefly and then a continuous hold for a few seconds will give you strobe and then just touching it again will deactivate it if you are in whatever mode you're in when you shut the light through the tail cap when you start the light again it'll be in that mode so remember that if you want it to come in on high shut it off on high mode and it'll come on to high or if you wanted it to be in firefly mode which is hard to see out here but it's on right now let's see if I can show that here on this red covering you can see it on the ruler there that's firefly mode if I shut the light and then activate it again it comes on in firefly mode so very easy to operate which is very useful for many preppers that are not familiar or forget about fancy features on a light and they, they may forget how to activate it. This one is very easy and it's a great EDC flashlight. It'll fit in your pocket, a pocketbook, uh, a survival kit, whatever. So let's take it and put it through some of its paces uh, outside and impact resistance, uh, water, depth, and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay guys, I have the light here activated in high mode just so you can see it, even though it's daylight out here. Um, and impact resistance to one meter. We'll just drop it on the hard. This is a concrete floor that I'm standing on here. And there's the light, it's still on, it's still functioning after a drop from one meter. Let's take it and do a water test. Strobe, low, medium, high, strobe, firefly, excuse me if I said strobe, low, medium, high, strobe. Click the tail cap for off and then momentarily depress it, partially depress it for momentary on. Okay guys, we are down here at the water's edge and we have the through night flashlight with us. This is again, the Archer 1A V3 uh, and it is IPX8 certified for water, to be underwater. And so we're gonna keep it just the way it is, and throw it here in the water, or maybe slosh it around in the sand a little bit and then see if how it's functioning, okay? So let's throw it in the water. There it is, as you see it. In the water, the light is still on, still functioning. It actually went into the sand a little bit when I threw it down there, and again, Let's take it off, take it out of the water. Still functioning. Let's put it through some tests, some uh, paces, make sure it cycles through the light. And there you see it. Strobe functioning. The tail cap still works. Like other Archer, like other through night flashlights that are IPX8 certified. This one certainly lives up to the standard. Also for the drop test, which we did at one, at one meter, it's still functioning flawlessly. So now we'll do a nighttime beam test and then we'll conclude our video.